Okay, as promised, we are up next to the cherry tree, which uh, resides on the farm, farther up from the barn and the house. So the ducks don't really make their way up here very rarely, which is why it's okay for me to plant lupine. Lupine is a toxic perennial. The flowers are absolutely gorgeous. Pollinators love them, but they aren't good for animals. So this is sort of our backyard portion of the homestead where I know that I don't have to worry about any animals interacting with it. Um, so that is why we have lupine. It also does amazing things. I'll list it on the slides coming up here. In addition, on this bed, we have a couple leftover marigolds from the vegetable garden. I've transferred some clover, which is here. Grow clover um, grows abundantly throughout this portion of the yard. So I just wanted to sort of continue that up into the guild. We have chives, lemon balm, chamomile. I'll talk about why we chose that. And uh, some calendula. Daisies haven't sprouted yet. And then hiding in here somewhere is comfrey. So a lot of the same plants as what was in the apple tree, but cherries have their own needs. They have their own groups of pests and disease and bugs. So um, a lot of these things absolutely help with that. So disregard my leaning little seedling tree sapling here. She needs to be straightened and I'm gonna do that next, but I wanted to um, show you what's been planted in this guild.